Around the world, more and more different looking buildings are being built. Some of the buildings stand out as tallest in the cities, and some because they're just different. The building can be shaped like a hot dog, guitar, or even a dragon. This is called novelty architecture. It is a type of architecture in which buildings and other structures are given unusual shapes for purposes such as advertising or to copy other famous buildings without any intention of being authentic. These buildings stand out from the surroundings and some of them are even touristic attractions. You don't want to miss out on the information I'm about to tell you, so make sure to watch the video the whole way through and subscribe to the channel. Number 1. Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Florida, USA Florida's Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino has started building an addition shaped like the body of a guitar. When completed in 2020, the 450-foot tall structure will be the largest guitar-like building in the world, because that's a thing, apparently. It's not just an exterior facade, said Hard Rock International Chairman James Allen. The curving of the building will be identical to an authentic guitar. The $1.5 billion construction project kicked off with a guitar-smashing ceremony, characteristic of large Hard Rock events. The giant guitar building will contain 638 hotel rooms and suites, doubling the Seminole Hard Rock's total number of rooms, in addition to a 41,000-square-foot spa and several restaurants. The hotel's existing performance venue will also be replaced by a new 7,000-seat theater. The new buildings will also be surrounded by a 10-acre campus of waterfalls, plunge pools, eateries, and ponds accommodating canoes and paddle boats. Number 2. The DNA Buildings, Moscow, Russia The Evolution Tower is designed by Tony Kettle and Karen Forbes with assistance later from Philip Nikendrov, chief architect of engineering firm Gore Project. The design is similar to the double helix shape of DNA. This is possibly why the building reflects two ribbons wrapping around each other, symbolizing the interlinking of individuals, generations, and families. The plot covers an area of 2.55 hectares, of which most are landscaped into a terrace, while the rest is used for the tower. The tower and the terrace are built on a three-level stylobit, designated the Evolution Gallery, with an area of 28,000 square meters, or 300,000 square feet. There are exits from the tower that lead directly to the metro station Vistavaknia and Bagration Bridge. The roof of the stylobit is made exploitable for fountains, terraces, and cafes. The difference in heights between the top of the stylobit and the embankment is compensated by stairs protected by canopies. Under the stylobit is a multi-level parking area for 1,292 cars. Each of the 51 floors of the tower is rotated 3 degrees relative to the previous one, so the building is swirled by more than 150 degrees. In this way, the central core and eight columns with 15-meter spans between the axes remains strictly vertical all the way up. The spiral geometry is repeated only by four corners of the building. For the project, a self-lifting formwork system was designed, combining the functions of wind protection and working platform. Thanks to this, it was possible to achieve the floor's strength in six days. The top of the tower is crowned with two asymmetric arches spanning 41 meters, visually uniting the two opposite facades. They were produced in Piedmont, Italy, and delivered to Russia. Number 3. The Basket, Ohio, USA The Big Basket Building in Newark, Ohio was built as the headquarters of the Longeberger Company, an American manufacturer of handcrafted maple wood baskets and other lifestyle products. It is one of the most famous examples of mimetic or novelty architecture, in which buildings are designed to mimic or represent objects associated with their function. In the case of the Big Basket Building, it was designed to replicate the company's best-selling product, the medium market basket, but 160 times larger. Architects had initially proposed designs that were merely suggestive of a basket, until the company's founder, Dave Longeberger, pointed to one of the baskets and told them to make it look exactly like that. The 180,000 square foot building cost $30 million to construct and was completed in 1997. It is seven stories tall, with a central atrium and glass ceiling to provide natural light. It is topped by two steel handles, each weighing 75 tons, which are fitted with heating elements to prevent them from freezing, and so protecting the glass atrium below from falling ice. On each side of the top of the building are two gold leaf painted Longeberger tags measuring 25 by 7 feet. In February 2016, after a period of falling profits and staff reductions, Longeberger's parent company, JRJR Networks, announced that the remaining employees would be moved out from the Newark headquarters. One of the common problems with mimetic architecture is its resale value and the future of the Big Basket building has been uncertain. 
However, there does appear to be popular support in Newark for preserving it as a local landmark, with ideas for future uses, including converting it into a hotel, a multifamily residence, senior housing, or an academic building. Jim Klein, a former Longaberger president who hopes to get the building included on the National Register of Historic Places, said the Big Basket is like the St. Louis Arch. It's a really important part of southeastern Ohio history. Number 4. The Lotus Building, Wuhan, China Blooming out of an artificial lake at the center of Wuhan in China is the Lotus Building, designed and built by Australian architecture firm Studio 505. The beautiful building takes its name and form from the blooming lotus flower and shows the three stages of the flower from the new young bud to the full ripe flower through the open bloom with a seed pod within it. The building is home to departments of the city's planning bureau, making it perhaps one of the most beautiful government institutions. The Lotus Building is an addition to an existing double-story subterranean municipal facility situated beneath the artificial lake and houses parts of the planning bureau as well as new exhibition halls, meeting rooms, and conference centers. Visitor center from below into a vaulted, cathedral-like interior space, where a combination of color and light create a bright and uplifting interior atmosphere. The external petals of the structure are filled with colorful ribs which emulate the flower-like appearance of the structure. The building is further enhanced by atmospheric lighting at night. Number 5. BMW Headquarters, Munich, Germany The BMW Headquarters is a high-rise building located in Munich's district am Reisenfeld serving as world headquarters for the German automaker BMW since 1973. It was declared a protected historic building in 1999 and is often cited as one of the most notable examples of architecture in Munich. Extensive renovations commenced in 2004 and were completed in 2006. The tower was built between 1968 and 1972 and was ready in time for the 1972 Summer Olympics. Its inauguration followed on the 18th of May, 1973. The 101-meter or 331-foot building is located next to Olympia Park and BMW's main factory. The tower's exterior is supposed to mimic the shape of four cylinders in a car engine, with the museum representing a cylinder head. Both buildings were designed by the Austrian architect Karl Schwanzer. The tower consists of four vertical cylinders standing next to and across from each other. Each cylinder is divided horizontally in its center by a mold in the facade. Notably, these cylinders do not stand on the ground. They are suspended on a central support tower. During the construction, individual floors were assembled on the ground and then elevated. The tower has a diameter of 52.30 meters, or 171.6 feet, and it has 22 occupied floors, two of which are basements and 18 that serve as office space. Number seven, Kansas City Library, Kansas City, Missouri, US. The Kansas City Public Library is a public system headquartered in the Central Library in Kansas City, Missouri. The system operates its Central Library and neighborhood branches located in Kansas City, Independence, and Sugar Creek. Founded on December 5, 1873, it is the oldest and third largest public library system in the Kansas City metropolitan area. Its special collections, housed in the Central Library's Missouri Valley Room, has a collection of Kansas City local history including original and published materials, news articles, postcards, photographs, maps, and city directories dating from the community's earliest history. The library's Ramos collection includes books, pamphlets, journal articles, and other materials relating to African American history and culture. Built in 2004, the Community Bookshelf, also known as the Library District Parking Garage, is a striking feature of Kansas City's downtown. It runs along the south wall of the Central Library's parking garage on the 10th Street between Wyandotte Street and Baltimore Avenue. The concept of turning the parking garage into a bookshelf was part of an effort on behalf of the community to bring character to the needed structure. Number 8. Intel Hotels Amsterdam, Zandam Amsterdam, Netherlands This visually four-star hotel has an impressive facade. The structure is a lively stacking of various traditional houses to be found in the Zan region. The interiors of the modern hotel rooms also reflect the rich history of the Zahn area, the traditional products, the pioneers of the local craft industries, and the families which made the area world famous. In short, it provides the best of tradition, combined with modern-day comfort. Intel Hotel's Amsterdam Zandam offers, besides nostalgic rooms, a wellness club with a swimming pool, bar and restaurant, per sane, and free Wi-Fi. The hotel is not only the ideal place to stay when discovering the Zahn area, but as well for a trip to Amsterdam. The train journey will take 12 minutes to Amsterdam Central Station, and you can travel to Schiphol Airport in only 18 minutes. 
Intel Hotels has respect for people and the environment and contributes to a healthy planet and beautiful society. With a surprisingly sustainable program, the hotel group is working towards a sustainable future. Number 9. National Fisheries Development Board Building, Hyderabad, India Located in the South Indian capital city of Hyderabad, the headquarters of the National Fisheries Development Board, or Fish Building, as it is more commonly known, is likely one of the most unusually whimsical examples of an official government office building in the world. Designed to look like a giant fish, the four-story building is composed almost entirely out of stainless steel, with the bulk of the complex hoisted into the air by support columns at either end, allowing the fish to swim several feet above ground. With its main entrance just below the left fin, which doubles as an awning, and at least two offices towards the head of the fish benefiting from the two round windows that make up the eyes, the National Fisheries Development Board building is an effective example of mimetic architecture, in which the form of a structure plays a role in its function. Adding to the effectiveness of the fish theme, a set of deep blue spotlights are used to illuminate the building at night, giving the impression that the fish is swimming through the ocean. Number 10. High Hill Wedding Church, Budai, Taiwan Standing on a large concrete disc in Ocean View Park in Taiwan's Budai Township is a massive glass slipper that looks as though it would be fit for a giant Cinderella. In actuality, this strange building is a church meant to cater to women, or to reference a local legend, or something. Finished in early 2016, the Giant Shoe Church is an all-glass structure formed out of 320 blue-tinted panes set into a metal grid. The main worship space is held in the toe, with a large screen at the tip, while there is an outdoor stage built into the collar where someone's giant foot might go. While it is being called a church, officials say that its main function will be to cater to weddings and photo shoots. In addition to its questionably female-centric architecture, the interior of the worship shoe is said to include over 100 features that women will like, including loveseat benches, biscuits and cakes, and maple leaf decorations. Before anyone gets to thinking that all of this is just to pander to women, there's a second, more traditional reasoning behind the design of the church. Apparently, it is actually an allusion to a local story of a girl who caught Blackfoot. As the story goes, this local girl contracted the disease and had to have the lower portions of her legs amputated, ending her engagement and resulting in her spending the rest of her days alone and living in a church. Jesus. Pun intended. There you have it. Ten buildings that look like a different object. Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comment section down below. We hope you liked today's video, and if you do, hit the like button and for more videos like these, subscribe to the channel.